Let's unfy. Let me explain significance testing to you with a simpler example. Suppose you are the manager in a shampoo company. It is your duty to ensure that each bottle of shampoo has at least 60 ml of shampoo in it. How will you ensure this? I will obviously not open each bottle and check. I will take a sample of shampoo bottles from production line, empty them and check if they have 60 ml shampoo in it. Good. Now what if some bottles have slightly more than 60 ml and some slightly less than 60 ml of shampoo? I will take an average of these volumes. If it is equal to 60 or slightly more, I think I'll be fine. What if it comes out to be less than 60 ml? That would mean a problem in production line. I will get it checked. Would you do so even if the average volume comes out to be slightly less than 60 ml? Like for example, suppose you pick 30 bottles randomly and the shampoo volume in each bottle is like this. The average here comes out to be 59.9 ml. But most of the bottles are above the acceptable mark. What will you do in such a case? Let us take the help of a central limit theorem here. The theorem states that if we draw multiple samples from a population and plot their means, then it will be a normal distribution. This will be the case irrespective of population distribution and will be applicable for samples of relatively higher size, generally more than 30. Now how is this applicable here? In case you had taken multiple samples of shampoo bottles and calculated their average volume, those averages would have formed a normal curve. The theorem also states that this normal curve will have a mean same as population mean and will have a standard deviation same as population standard deviation divided by the root of the sample size. Now we know that the population mean should be equal to 60 ml. So if there is no problem in the production line, then this normal distribution formed with the help of sample means will be centered on 60 ml. So let us begin our hypothesis test by assuming that the population mean is 60 ml. Now all that we have to find out is where does your random samples mean lie on this normal distribution? Is its distance from the average acceptable or is it very less? We will have to learn a few new terms which we will borrow from hypothesis testing to answer these questions.